to Seattle. It's not focusing. Come back over here. Come back over here. Give me a hand. Do the spin. Your spin. Any way you want. Any way you want. All right, can I walk away from you? Okay, Go. Bye. Go away. Oh, yeah, that's the view. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Like I said, we traveled. And we traveled. I didn't vlog much of the traveling though. This is the good part because it's cold and I'm not used to it. <sighs> Alright, now that we got that settled, Alyssa, you guys saw her, she's looking beautiful tonight. We're gonna head to BJ's for dinner, so uh, let's go do that. All right, so what you guys are seeing right here, um, our lovely friend, I'm not gonna lie, I forget his name. Uh, he was a super nice guy, he was German. He had a fun accent to listen to. And he's kind of just walking us through this process that they do at Fleet Feet in order to measure your length of your feet, the width, uh, the arch of your foot, and where your the most of your pressure lies when you walk. So through this information, they're able to, to take that and figure out which shoes in the store will be best for your feet. Uh, so he took Alyssa through standing on the scanner and then walking over a pad a couple times and through that Yeah, we were able to get all that information and then you, you're gonna see me here doing the same process To figure out my, the information for my feet and it's super interesting to hear all of that information back because for Alyssa As we both me and her know that she has very high arches and that causes a lot of uh, foot and calf tightness for her and I used to suffer with plantar fasciitis because I have such flat arches I virtually have no arch so when i'm like standing on the ground my entire foot is on the ground and when Alyssa's standing on the ground the balls of her feet and her heel are pretty much the only two points that are touching the ground so from that we're able to go and figure out which shoes were going to be best for us so we tried a few pairs a few different pairs on he helped us like put them on correctly and da 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 and we ran around, ran around the store figured out which ones fit best and felt best for our feet so let's talk about which ones we went with and why before we can talk about that though um, I'm gonna show you guys what I was running with before. A week ago, I ran the long, my longest run so far, and it was a nine mile run. And I ran them in these, in these Johns. And these messed my knee up. Uh, I didn't run for three days after I ran that nine mile run because these are the, the men's Nike Air Max Dawn Next Nature Casual Shoes. Um, and you can see where I went wrong in the name casual shoes these are not running shoes as you can tell the bottoms of these things are super flat um they're comfortable to walk in and stand in but not for running at all they're pretty heavy not gonna lie um and yeah this is the closest thing that i had to a running shoe i have some um it's just, uh nike i don't even know what they're called i have some other shoes that are meant for walking around so this is the closest thing that i could get to uh, for running around there's not much cushion on the bottom it looks like there is but the cushion is not good at all and to add it all on i'm pretty sure these are knockoffs because i got them from ross so let's get down to the nitty-gritty and talk about which shoes with the information that i got from the store and from my lovely f german friend um was best for me i tried on a pair of um ons and which is another running brand and I was looking at some New Balances that I really wanted and they had some and Saucony Endorphin 4s, I believe is what they're called. And those, they, they, they just look nice. Um, but I had to go with these ones. These are called the Men's Guide 17 Wide. And they're not the prettiest things, which I was kind of the biggest worry of mine because I wanted to look good when I was running, not gonna lie. You know, feel good, look good, play good, feel good is what I always went by when I was playing football. So they're not the prettiest things, but these things are like pillows on my feet. Um, and at the end of this is a key of why I got these. And these are the men's guide 17 wide. Uh, after my, figuring out the information for my feet, which I already knew, but it just proved it. I have very wide feet and I need a bigger uh, toe box in order for me to be comfortable in my shoes. Because when I'm running, as I land on my toes, my feet spread out so wide, um, it, I want that, that extra room, that extra give to be able to spread in my shoe and not feel squeezed in as I'm running uh, longer distances. So um, yeah, these are the Men's Guide 17 wide and uh, they felt amazing. 
on my first run with Alyssa that we went on. And actually, we went on a few runs um, in Seattle with these. I have about six, I have about nine miles on these shoes so, shoes so far. So um, yeah, they were super comfortable. I'm really happy with them so far. I'm gonna go for another run today. Um, but yeah, let's just, just show you guys the, some quick clips of us running. First time I've ever done this before or something. Hello. What's up, guys? So we just finished a little. Mine said 2.3. How long was yours? A 2.3. 2.3. Yeah. Little 2.3 miles. Um, it was a little loop called. You want the heat on? No. Called. Uh, we're at Steward Park. Seaward Park. Sorry, not Seaward. Seaward Park. Seaward Park. I was like, really, Steward? <laughs> uh, yeah. Seaward Park. Park. We're testing out our brand new kicks, our new shoes. Uh, yeah. We kept a little super cool pace. I think the average was like 10 minutes, 20 seconds, 17 seconds, something like that. Yeah. Um, and just yeah. Just a little shake out, just, just a little shake out. Trying to break out. them in a little bit. Yeah. They definitely felt a little stiff, yeah. but a lot better than my other shoes already. So yeah, I think it's just gonna take some time to break in. Um, but we'll talk more about it, about it, like about each shoe that we got and why when we get back to Miss Sissa's house. I'm Miss Sissa. She's Miss Sissa. My, my girlfriend. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> 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 and there you have it uh these are the shoes that we went with the men's guide 17 wide i'm very happy with this decision um yes the title was a little bit clickbaity i didn't fly to seattle just to buy shoes i flew to go see my girlfriend and we had got just got the chance to buy some shoes so yeah praise god for that blessing and the ability to buy some shoes and go see my girlfriend whenever i want with free flights uh shout out to Alyssa and her job for providing that that uh blessing in our lives and yeah, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. We are still on the journey of bulking and training for a marathon. It has been a rough journey so far, but it has also been really fun. And I've been able to learn a lot about myself athletically, um, as well as mentally and what, what scares me and what kind of like fires me up in terms of how I want to train and my new passions that are forming. So uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be rewriting my program uh, to cater to my new goals in running and calisthenics and lifting um, and yeah I think I'm going to talk about that in the next video since that's going to be the next thing that I'm going to be working on but uh, yeah as always thank you guys for tuning in and watching so fervently and yeah I appreciate all you guys who have been watching uh, I know we're not the biggest crowd yet right now but I know that with consistency and dedication that we're going to get there we're going to get to where we want to be so um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.